Godzilla minus one's ending suggests a potential rematch between Godzilla and another monster. Despite the main character's success in destroying Godzilla, a part of him survived, hinting at his eventual regeneration and return to menace Japan. Toho may explore this concept for a sequel, considering the film's box office success. Instead of another Godzilla vs. Japan scenario, the story could feature Godzilla facing a monster from his past. Godzilla minus one foreshadowed a sad twist in Koichi's emotional ending. When Koichi hugged Noriko, a mysterious black mark appeared on her neck. Its abrupt emergence called into doubt Noriko's involvement in Godzilla's atomic breath explosion aftershock. Noriko may have been irradiated or physically damaged by Godzilla's radioactive power because she was nearby. Another issue is Noriko's shocking recovery. Koichi's opinion that Noriko was dead was justified her situation would have killed any normal person. She survived and emerged with little scars or injuries. However, Noriko's black neck mark could indicate Godzilla's DNA infection. Multiple scenes in Godzilla Minus One showed Godzilla's amazing regenerating capacity. If she shares Godzilla's DNA, she may have accidentally inherited his healing skills. Noriko getting a superpower wouldn't help the sequel's story, especially since enormous monsters are the franchise's main focus. With that in mind, Godzilla Minus One may be setting up Koichi's love interest becoming a monster. In Godzilla's reality, a human becoming a kaiju is rare but not unprecedented. If Godzilla Minus One is allowing Noriko to become a Godzilla monster, Bailante is the best choice. Bailante was the only Godzilla foe to turn human. Godzilla vs. Bailante. Godzilla's opponent was created from Godzilla's DNA, a rose, and Erika's corpse. Bailante was conceived as Erika reborn as a monster. Godzilla vs. Bailante. Bailante didn't conclude with a Godzilla win. Her venomous sap immobilized him before her apparent defeat, making the fight a tie. Bailante survived her film, unlike other Heisei antagonists. Godzilla vs. Bailante. Bailante finished with the monster soaring into space, suggesting she may return for a sequel to finish her fight with Godzilla. Despite his popularity as a Godzilla villain, Bailante never appeared again in live action. Jigen, King Ghidorah, Ibera, and Hedora were given chances to return, but Bilante is one of the few Godzilla opponents that never did. Godzilla King of the Monsters director Mike Doverty has expressed interest in bringing Bailante into the Monsterverse. However, this scenario never occurred. Noriko becoming Bailante might lead to a surprise familiar narrative, and not just because of the matchup. As Godzilla minus one's Godzilla is portrayed, Noriko's encounter with Godzilla would likely be identical to their initial fight if she transforms into Biolante, similar to Godzilla vs. Biolante. Minus One's Godzilla is a villain among humans. Godzilla and Biolante's struggle may not be a black and white war between good and evil Biolante, maybe the good guy the action would be similar to God Godzilla vs. Biolante. The movie finished with the characters thanking Biolante for stopping Godzilla's rampage, even if he was a menace to Japan. Biolante's tale in Godzilla Minus One Two might be similar, with neither hero clearly the hero. A sequel to Godzilla Minus One as an unofficial sequel to Godzilla vs. Biolante would be suitable given its success. Making it a versus movie would be difficult, especially since adding another monster would detract from its strongest element, the human drama. Noriko's Biolante, a monster with a personal link to the tale, may help Godzilla Minus One Two balance monster fighting and powerful narration. If Koichi's lover eventually turns into a Godzilla-sized monster, he'd face a new tragedy that would justify his story being on screen. Such a development could be as emotional as his Godzilla Minus One quest. If handled appropriately, the character's acceptance of Noriko's destiny might make the picture a suitable sequel to Godzilla Minus One and a tribute to Heisei Films.